bodybuilders train with light weights. This is Dan from bodybuilderinthailand.com. I'm going to be talking about what this means and why they do it, okay? All right, so the first thing is that you hear like big bodybuilders a lot of times, you'll hear them talking about feeling the muscle and the mind-muscle connection and things like that, right? And a lot of that gets uh, kind of interpreted as bro science, but a lot of it is more just advanced training technique. So you see a lot of them using these lighter weights, right? And like higher reps. And yeah, part of that is because they can still progress, build muscle, uh, and achieve pro progressive overload with lighter weights because of the supplements that they're using, right? The gear. Um, but there's a very misunderstood aspect of the training with light weights, okay? So when you do an exercise and you just use good form, right? And you move the weight from point A to point B, right? In the bench press, for example, for using the bench press, that like moving the weight around like that, right? It's, um, it's not actually for everyone going to be naturally like using the chest as the main mover uh, and then using all the other muscles as the secondary mover. And so if you were doing like power lifting or you're just doing like weight lifting, right? Which is, you know, trying to like move the weight using all your force possible. Um, you know, you wouldn't really want to be focusing on making one any muscle, the prime mover. You just want to do the good form. And then, you know, however the body is set up, it's going to be pressing with its utmost strength. But with bodybuilding, if you go in there and you're trying to like, build, you know, your chest or your lats, you know, your back uh, or your legs, you want to make sure like 100% that you are training that muscle as the main mover in every exercise that you do, that specific muscle. And then the other muscles are secondary, okay? So this is where the mind muscle connection becomes really important because you really want to be making sure that you can feel that muscle, that specified muscle that you're training that day, moving the weight as the primary mover. And then the other muscles really are secondary instead of just doing the exercise with good form and just assuming that, you know, it's the specified target muscle is moving the weight because a lot of times it isn't. So for example, I'm gonna use the, the bench press, okay? Right now, I'm gonna give you an example. So I'm gonna, I'm like this, right? So I can just like push the weight, right? And yeah, my chest is gonna be involved in there. You can see it, you can see it coming right there. You can see the, the movement there, okay? But if I was gonna make sure that it was the main mover, what I would do is I would actually just exclusively like focus my mind to this spot and instead of like focusing on pressing the weight up and down, I would actually focus on just squeezing these muscles together like this, like, like squeezing it together like that. And then doing the bench press by do by making that squeezing motion like, like this. And I'd be doing this squeezing motion. And then like the other muscles, like the triceps and everything and the front delts would still be working while I was pressing the weight. But they wouldn't be working at like, you know, they would definitely not be like main movers at all. Um, and I would have to use less weight to, to work out this way. Uh, but I would be receiving maximal stimulation on my chest because when I'm doing this, it's like uh, it, just squeezing like this, squeezing it in and moving the weight by squeezing it in. You're like moving the weight by using the chest, right? And so that's like what you want to focus on. Like if you want to bench press for your chest, move the weight of the bench press by flexing your chest and then stretching your chest, okay? Instead of thinking, I'm gonna push the weight up and down or I'm gonna get, you know, this many reps with this many weight no matter what. And the heavier I do it, the better. No, instead think, okay, I'm going to get in the bench press position and I'm now gonna lower this weight by stretching my chest and now I'm gonna flex my chest and squeeze it in order to move it back up, okay? That's how like these uh, top level bodybuilders are training and that's why they're using lighter weights because they really are putting like the 
total emphasis on the primary muscle that's moving the weight. And then the other muscles are very secondary. Um, if you, when you try this, you'll, you'll notice like you're, you're definitely not as strong. Okay. But you have way more overload and tension on that target muscle and you can really feel it too. You can really feel it working and you know, you will still hit failure, you know, with 10 to 12 reps, it's safer to train this way because you're using lighter weights total. Uh, but you are, you know, still being able to overload uh, the muscle very well. So it's very effective. Like, so then again, like for the, for the bicep, say you're doing a, a bicep curl. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to have it up here and now think instead of like, uh, you know, like, Oh yeah, I'm going to, you know, you know, put this up or pull this up. Right. Think like uh, I'm going to squeeze my bicep up to move this weight. So I'm going to squeeze this bicep up to move this weight. And now I'm going to relax this bicep to move this weight. Okay. When you start thinking like this about the muscles that you're training, it makes a huge difference. You know, with the lateral raise, I'm going to flex my shoulders to bring, I'm going to flex my shoulders to bring this weight up to the sides or with the back, you know, I'm going to pull my, sh my lats and my shoulders back in order to move this weight. Right. Okay. So we've got like a stretch in a row and now you're going to pull your shoulders and your lats, your back muscles backwards to move the weight instead of just focusing on, I'm going to move the weight. Okay. I'm going to pull the weight backwards. No, you think the lats and you think about flexing them and you think about moving the weight with those lats. Okay. Same thing with the bench press. Again, I'm squeezing the chest together to do the bench press. Start thinking like that when you are training and it'll make a huge difference. And this is the way that uh, experienced bodybuilders are training. And this is why they are using what looks to inexperienced people as light weights. But, you know, some of them are, like I said, because of the supplements that they're using and, you know, maybe because they're lazy. Uh, they are actually, you know, not training hard or, you know, they are using light weights and they're still able to grow and it's just like their preference that they have. Um, but that's more of a minority. I would say that it's like that. Most of them are utilizing these techniques where they're using the target muscle to move the weight on each exercise. And then the other stuff, the other like secondary and accessory muscles are really just secondary and accessory muscles. They're not thinking about doing the exercise with correct form and moving the weight from point A to point B. That's not their objective. They're bodybuilding. So what they're doing is they're putting maximum tension and connection on the target muscle and they're flexing and stretching that muscle in order to move the weight. This is Dan from Bodybuilder in Thailand.com.